Greetings, everyone. I have a confession to make. Before being on this ship, I wasn't really living for God all the way. On my last ship, I was living outside of God's protection. I was living for myself. I had knowledge and did not need anyone to help me, especially God. When we suffered great loss because of my big-headed spirit, I let down my whole crew and caused us to lose our ship and many lives because of my selfish lifestyle. Since that time, I have turned my life around and I know live for God. He is my source and Jesus is my redeemer. Let's get to our group today. I'm so glad that we are finally clear of that ship that was trying to hurt us. Yes, Captain. I believe that God's hand was guiding us throughout that ordeal. You know what's strange? That ship had us locked on to destroy us. Then all of a the sudden they were gone. Yay, no sign of hyperjump. Just vanished in thin space. Hi, guys. What did you want to talk to me about? Professor Neb, what you shared today was very interesting. I've always known about abiding in the vine, but for some reason never fully understood this. I'm right there with her as well. I'm a believer, but I still struggle a lot. Well, you came to the right person. How to remain in the vine. Abiding in the vine means receiving and believing and trusting in the words of Jesus. It means receiving the love of Jesus for the Father and for His people, and the joy that Jesus has in the Father and in us. It means sharing the joy, the love, the words with Jesus. Wow, I really get this. So do I. I'm glad we came to you today. I'm so glad that you both came to me. I'll see you guys at supper. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Attention all crew members, this is your captain speaking. Only by God's grace and favor were we able to escape our encounter with that ship last time. Today I want to share with you a little more along the same line as Professor Nebulizer. Why do we need to remain in God? We must remain in God for many reasons. One specific to this verse is to produce fruit. This is to my Father's glory, that you bear much fruit, showing yourselves to be my disciples. That's John 15 and verse 8. We glorify God and show ourselves to be His disciples when we bear fruit. He wants us to bear much fruit. So stay connected to the vine, and as it has been said today, we must remain with Jesus. This is your captain out. I'm going to recap everything today that we heard on how to abide with God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit. There are five ways we can remain in God's Word. Number one, remain faithful to God's calling on your life. Number two, read God's Word daily. God's Word is our spiritual food, and we need it daily, just like we eat regular food every day. Number three, be obedient to the Holy Spirit's guidance. When He tells you something, do it. Number four, Pray constantly. We should be ready to pray, anywhere, anytime, always. Number five, seek wise counsel and submit to others to hold me accountable. Also means fellowship with each other. I believe that as we attempt to do these that we will be blessed in all we do. I'll see you next week.